Get you a drink. Good afternoon, everyone. So we've got some of our second cross lambs in. Um, you know the process. If you watch previous videos, we've got to draft the tops out of them, the best, the pick of them, and they can they'll be off to Yas tomorrow morning uh, to be sold at the market. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So these uh, their mother is a, a border Lester over Merino, and their father is a pole horse at Ram. Um, and that's, that creates this second cross lamb, which is, which is probably the most common one you see around the sale yards. But one thing you will notice about these lambs compared to the last video is these are shorn. So one of the reasons we have to shear them is because as summer progresses, all the plants go through their reproductive stages and they produce a head and it gets, the seeds get stuck in their wool. And one of the worst ones is spear grass and it it actually can go into the meat and cause a decrease in meat quality and it's also uncomfortable for them. Another reason, so if you think about it, the lambs have had their co this coat of wool since they were born and so it's almost holding them in and hold not letting them grow and as soon as you shear them it just releases all their skin, gives them a lot more room to, to grow out and grow into bigger sheep. And the people on the other end like the shorn sheep better. If they were going to get fattened, they wouldn't have to shear them anymore. And if they're going straight to, to the abattoir, then they don't have the grass seeds all through them. It seems good love's finally on my side. She pulls the sheets off of me every night. Whispers my name, tells the sun to rise. Hey, and she brings me back to life. I got you, honey, and you got me. I got all I could ever need. It's like you. So now that we've got them all drafted off, we're going to let them out into just a small paddock just away from the yards um, so that they can have, a feed, have another feed. They've only just come in, but let them out because you want to try and put the least amount of stress on them that you can. So they've just come in from the paddock, we draft them up, let the others go into a different paddock and now these top ones will just go into a paddock yeah, for a few hours. They'll have to come in uh, tonight because they've got to be off off feed for a certain amount of time before they go on the truck and into the sale yards But yeah, these these lambs won't go till tomorrow morning Because if they go over to the sale yards tonight, they'll just be uh, a bit more stressed and, and not as relaxed and and given the fact that we can take them in the morning We're gonna do that. So So they'll go to the sale yards tomorrow morning and then they'll probably get drafted up again into maybe two or three different pens just into to, to similar similar size lambs while we draft them already. There, there will be a little bit of variation in that that mob there and um, the stock agents will draft them up for us and, and sell them to according to what you know what they're worth, what their weight is and, and how they look. So. I think we're gonna get wet. Any anyone that if, if you are watching in Queensland or, or northern New South Wales, hope that the the floods aren't affecting you too much and if they are, that um you know it's over soon and you can start cleaning up and and doing that sort of business. But no, we're thinking of you up there. So next on the job list is uh we need to put some follow-up rams in with our stud use. So they were, they were joined to, to certain rams earlier on. Uh, we chose each individual ewe, we chose which ram to put with her. And um, they've been out for uh, a little, oh, I can't remember how long now. When did we take them out? Anyway, we've got to put some follow-up rams in with them to, to get any ewes in lamb that, that missed, missed out uh, when they were in with them before. 
So what we do is we put a harness on on some of these some of these rams. These are the stud uh, rams that we've either bought in or, or kept for ourselves. Put a harness on them so that when they jump on the ewes, they leave a mark and we know who the father is then. Because with stud sheep, you want to know the mother and the father for pedigrees and stuff. It looks tighter than it is. It's just because they've got about that much wool on them. second lamb so this year being a good year we actually weaned pretty late and so when the rams were put with the ewes initially some of the ewes might not have been uh, in good enough condition to join which is condition score three so we do it every year but to try and give the ewes a second chance of getting in lamb we put them out uh, for a second round which will give us a spring lamb so that's the reason we're putting them out with them. So I've just come out to a bit of our wheat that we sowed about three weeks, two and a half weeks ago now. And it's looking really well, I think. It's come up, it's all shot out of the ground. Looking healthy, it's all green. It's getting its roots down nicely. Now it's really looking, looking pretty good. We also sowed, this paddock's 12 hectares and we sowed um, about 15 hectares of of oats uh, over in the other paddock, and it's looking it's looking good too. So it's always pleasing to see your crops come out of the ground because it is it is an investment. It's a big investment, especially fertilizer prices the way they are at the moment. I know everyone keeps talking about that, but it's the truth. They they're astronomical, but but luckily luckily sheep and and lambs and stock are are worth good money too, so it, it makes it justifiable. But no, we've really tried putting a lot of crop in, uh, whether it be wheat, oats, canola, um, loosen, as you saw in the past sort of three, two or three years si since after the drought, because, and since that time we haven't fed a sheep, um, you know, a mouthful of grain, um, providing it has been good years, but but we think <clears throat> by getting a lot of crop in the ground um, before winter, it um, it means we can we can you know lamb lambs use onto on crop and um, there's no doubt about it. There's a massive advantage to um, feeding sheep grass over grain, green grass. There's just nothing like it that that sheep do do on or stock do on. And so our thinking is if if we can. Um, put them on it over winter, uh, then they're going to be a lot better off for it. And then we're not going into the paddock disturbing them, feeding them grain, just going around them from a distance checking them. And I think we're finding there's a real benefit to it. Peep, peep, peep. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of another video. Let me know if you prefer these sort of more variety in the videos like it was today or if you just prefer one specific subject. Um, I'm just filming whatever I think you'd like so 
Let me know in the comments and any questions. I'd take you along. I'd take you along to Yas in the morning, but uh, I've got to go shearing, so I won't. I won't be able to go, unfortunately. But um, we'll be selling plenty more in the future, so it'd be good to show you guys what 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 it's like over there. Anyway, we'll um, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see ya. Bye. Yeah,